Hi, my name is Matt and I'm on the partnerships team here at Pinterest. Today I want to talk to you about measuring success and interpreting data within your auction campaigns. When you first log in to Pinterest Ad Manager, you'll land on a summary dashboard. The summary dashboard provides a high-level summary of performance over the last 30 days, along with important notifications about things like campaigns ending soon and a summary of performance by bid type, be CPM, CPE, or CPC along with your top and lowest performing pins or creative to help with faster optimization. When you click into a specific bid type, let's call it traffic campaigns, your CPC campaigns, you'll see this main dashboard. We provide reporting at the campaign, pin, and pin targeting level. You'll first land on the campaign view with detailed metrics broken out by campaign. If you click on a campaign, you'll land on the pin level and see the same detailed metrics broken down by the pins within that campaign. Finally, when you click on a specific pin, you'll see the same metrics broken down by the pin level targeting. The metrics you see in the dashboard change as you toggle from the overview to activity to spend tab. The overview tab shows general delivery metrics, including impressions, clicks, and spend, along with others. The activity tab shows you paid and earned, and earned metrics to really showcase the value of downstream or earned media. The spend tab shows your effective CPC or CPE and what you've spent so far. At each level of the account, you can export a CSV. The columns of the exports contain all the data from these three tabs. The rows of the CSV will change based on the level of the account you're in when you export. When at the campaign level, the CSV rows will be the campaign names. At the pin level, the rows will be the pins within that campaign. And at the pin targeting level, the rows will be the targeting levers, like devices and terms, tied directly to that pin. In addition to the data in these three tabs, the export also contains conversion tracking data if you have our conversion pixel installed. Our conversion pixel is a small snippet of code placed on your site that fires when a particular page loads. Conversion tracking can be used to track signups, purchases, or other actions that you find valuable for your site and your business. Conversion tracking allows you to measure the impact of promoted pins. Conversion tracking allows you to measure the impact of promoted pins against business goals. For example, how many sales did promoted pins drive last week? The Pinterest conversion tag is a simple image tag that can record four types of conversions against three different types of actions by pinners. The conversion types include page visits, signups, checkouts, or custom conversions. The pinner actions could be either viewing your ad, engaging with your ad, which would include a repin or a close-up, or actually clicking through on your ad to your website. Attribution windows can be customized per action on Pinterest. For example, you can set your attribution window for view through conversions to be seven days while leaving engagement and click conversions at 30 days. Please note that we only count a conversion once. When we look to see if there is a conversion, we'll first look for a click and log it as a click conversion. If there was no click, we'll look for a close up or repin and log it as an engagement conversion. If no close up or repin, we'll log it as a view based conversion. You can also use multiple tags. If you track both signups and checkouts, for example, simply add both tags to the relevant pages on your site. Creating a conversion tag is really easy. Go to the conversion tracking section on the Pinterest Ads Manager under Tools and then Conversion Tracking. Once there, you can select your conversion type, put a name for your conversion tag, and customize your attribution windows per action. Finally, once you've saved that, add that snippet of code to your desired page. Because 80% of our usage is on mobile, understanding how those users convert both on mobile as well as desktop and tablet is critically important to measuring the true value of your promoted pins campaigns. Because Pinterest users are logged in, we're able to show you cross-device conversion data, highlighting what device pinners are using when they see your ad and what device they're using when they ultimately convert something you wouldn't be able to track using other tools. You can find this data at the bottom of your campaign level export. When you run an export, it can be confusing at first. I want to help break that down. Focusing in on the conversion portion of that export, 
you'll see that we group the columns together by conversion type. First, sign up conversions, including a breakout for click, engagement, and view. Then checkout conversions, followed by custom conversions. At the very bottom of your export, that's where you'll find the cross-device reporting, as highlighted here. I've highlighted a particular interesting cross-device trend, measuring users who interact with an ad on a mobile device, but ultimately made the conversion on a desktop. This is a substantial number of conversions that I would not be seeing when using a third-party tracking tools, and very, very important to analyze the full impact of promoted pins. For more information on how to get promoted pins, visit our Promoted Pins page. And check out the rest of our videos in the auction series to learn optimization recommendations, getting started with your campaign, and an overview of the auction. Thank you.